Welcome to Laughlin, Nevada. This is Jennifer Sparks. This is my first time here and I'm really excited. I'm working on creating a playlist of all the resorts that I did visit in my two day stay here, but we decided to stay at the Tropicana. In this video today will be only about the Tropicana. It'll be a room tour, where the hotel towers are, where we dine, the casino, basically what happened and what our experiences like the two nights that we stayed there. I'm traveling today with my husband, Kelly. We just came from Las Vegas, Nevada. Coming from the parking garage, you're gonna have a little hike to check in. We're heading to check in now. I booked this right on the Caesars app and I booked the cheapest room possible. They were doing some construction, so it kind of rerouted us around the pool area, which I wanted to see anyway. The pool looked pretty nice. The pool is heated and open year round. You will see more of the pool area later in the video. This video is filmed December 2023. It is two days before Christmas Eve. It is a little chilly. I'm not sure if I want to go swimming or not, <laughs> but it is nice to see the pool is open should we get wild and crazy and decide to go in. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. I'm so excited. Let's go check out this resort. I've been wanting to go to Laughlin, Nevada for so many years. It's so awesome to finally be here. Check-in was friendly. It was pretty fast. I didn't ask for any upgrades. I wasn't offered any. I just basically reserved the cheapest rooms that they had available, and that's exactly what I received. <laughs> here is a little map of the layout of the resort. It is not huge, but it is not small. It was pretty easy to find your way around. The room that I was assigned to was called the West Tower. I believe it's also referred to as the Promenade Tower. This would be the tower that is closest to the parking garage. The room was pretty small, but I think pretty much everywhere in Laughlin, the rooms are gonna be smaller. Nothing's gonna be really, really fancy and luxury here. It's basically a place to sleep and shower. We had just came from Paris where we had a big suite. <laughs> My husband was a little horrified at first, like, this is the room, <laughs> where's the rest of it? <laughs> I'm just doing some research now and apparently this was once a Ramada Express. That totally makes sense because like when checking in, I was kind of like, I kind of feel like I'm like at a quality inn or a comfort inn. You know, it wasn't like horrible. It just didn't have any bells and whistles to it. It was basically as bare bones as it could be. It was rough. It definitely like showed some age. But on a brighter note, this was probably the best shower that I've had on the entire trip, including Paris. Paris shower was terrible. <laughs> this shower was awesome. Even though it doesn't look awesome, it really was. It had fantastic pressure and no problem getting any hot water. The bed was comfortable, not very comfortable, but it was good, I mean, it did the trick. Two nights stay was perfect here. Now let's go explore. Me and Kelly are hungry, we wanna go get some lunch. We love the glass elevator, this was fun. Getting off the elevator, if you go and you take a left, you're gonna go to the parking garage. Taking your right will take you to dining, the casino, and the pool. We ended up choosing to dine at the first place that we saw. <laughs> it was called Carnegie's. There wasn't anybody there. There wasn't actually anybody in the hotel at all. It was really strange. I was really surprised because it was a Friday. I was expecting it to be packed. But even the people that were working there were like, we haven't seen it like this dead in so long. The Las Vegas Caesars properties were offering five times rewards on the gambling that weekend. So I have a feeling a lot of people that lived around there may have went to Las Vegas instead. Carnegie's Cafe was a good choice for us. Had a really good mixture of breakfast and lunch options. Kelly ordered the Turkey Club and I ordered it was a steak and cheese with onions and peppers. Both of them were excellent. We both really liked our lunches. Now I'm gonna take you for a walk around and show you some other food options at the Tropicana in Laughlin. You can visit Puerto Subs for casual dining. It shares the same space as Passaggio's, which was not open. That was only open on the weekends. In the event that there is nothing open, there are vending machines with food in them. White Castle burgers, pizza, calzones, chocolate cake, and they even have some vegan options. Now let's go check out Poolside Cafe. Here you can find all kinds of bakery items, bagels, all different kinds of sandwiches, a lot of good stuff. Hope you're enjoying this tour. If you are and you want to see more of Laughlin, please subscribe to my channel. This is my first of many videos that I'm going to be making about Laughlin, Nevada. I wish I could give you a very accurate description about the vibe in here, but seeing that, it really wasn't that busy and a lot of places were closed, including the pool. I mean, the pool was open, but there was nobody there. You know, it just like the vibe was very, very quiet. I'm sure in the summer, this place is booming. In town, there is another Caesars property, Perez, and there is a shuttle that will take you there from the Tropicana. Unlike Las Vegas, driving around here is pretty simple and the parking is free. 
We are currently in the front of the Tropicana right now. Biggest drawback is if you are someone that is coming here because you want to be on the water, it's not on the water. It is across the street from the water. Some of the hotels that we did visit had beach access and had great views of the waters. Just something to consider if you're trying to book a hotel in Laughlin or anywhere. Where do you want to be? I know where Kelly wants to be. He wants dessert. How do you get to Laughlin? We actually rented a car. We went to the rental car club by Harry Reid Airport, which was 72 miles away. It took about an hour and a half to get there. I'll leave the video I created about our rental car experience as well as our drive here from Las Vegas to Laughlin in the playlist at the end of this video. Just click on it. It'll take you to all my Laughlin videos. Have you stayed at this Tropicana before? Don't be shy. Let me know how your experience was in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. We're going to hit some slots before we go find some dessert. I have never seen this before. It's a Cinderella slot game. It was a little fun, but I got bored pretty quick. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm done with this. The Caesars properties in Laughlin are gonna start their five times multiplier on Christmas Eve, the day we are leaving. So I'm gonna do most of my gambling that morning. We bounced around and played some random games. I'm not really sure how the filming policy is in Laughlin, so I'm being very careful with the camera. I don't wanna get thrown out on my first day. <laughs> Didn't do too bad. We're down about $50 between the two of us. So we decided to try Brew Brothers for dessert, which is right off the casino floor. Our table had a great view of the Colorado Bell, which is not open anymore. That must have been amazing. Word of warning, these desserts are huge. <laughs> we're used to Las Vegas where you get a little sliver or something. These desserts were monstrous. There was no fine dining at Tropicana, at least nothing that I saw. The whole resort felt very casual. The staff was very nice though. We didn't really have any encounters with anybody that was rude. Everybody was helpful, seemed happy to be there. A little confused why it was so slow. They seemed a little bored. For breakfast the next day, we went back to Carnegie's, which is right off the casino floor. Again, look at these portions. Like if you like to eat, <laughs> Tropicana was a very good value. Would I stay there again if I went back to Laughlin? I actually would if the price was right. Um, you know, I like to try different places, but I definitely enjoyed myself. You know, it had its things. The rooms were a little bit small. They weren't luxurious, but for the amount of time I was in there, it really wasn't a big deal. Let's go check out the pool. It was a fairly large pool and two hot tubs. One hot tub was hot, one not so much. The pool temperature was, you know, it was warm. It wasn't bath water, but it was comfortable for swimming. If you're moving around, it would have been comfortable. Hardest part is getting out, of course. Now, because I am incredibly nosy, I have to go check out the East Tower, which is also referred to as the Casino Tower, I believe. It has the glass elevator that goes all the way up. This was so cool. I went up to the last floor just to see what the view is like. This is the tower you want to request if you want to be close to the casino and the restaurants and check in. I didn't get to see any of the rooms, but the hallway looked pretty similar. When I booked my reservation, these rooms in the East Tower were more expensive than the ones in the West Tower. But all in all, we enjoyed our stay here. We really didn't know what to expect. It's not like Atlantic City and it's really not like Vegas. But with that being said, Laughlin had its own charm that was very appealing to us. Look out for more casino resort tours coming soon. We're going to see Paris, Golden Nugget, Aquarius, Edgewater, Don Laughlin's Resort, a bunch of them. <laughs> it was a busy two days. Very fun though. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Check out my playlist right here. I'm going to be for you for more videos about Laughlin, Nevada. Book that trip to Laughlin. Pack your bags and go. Safe travels to you and good luck in the casinos.